Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the flyweight bout between Bruno Correa versus Carlos Vergara or Vergara. But um, look at this fight right here. Um, flat, flat out, like just to get to the um, my first thing that stands out for me is level of competition. And Bruno Correa, I'm not all too high on him. Like I see a lot of guys super high on Bruno Correa. I'm not too high. I think this fight is very much a pick em fight and very much a low confidence pick right here. But one thing for sure, Bruno Correa has definitely for a better competition. Um, the lone significant or even relative good opponent that um, Vergara fought was Jonathan Martinez about what, 12, 16, so long, a long time ago in their young careers. And that was, I think, up a weight class. And Martinez is at 135, he's in Vergara's at 125. It was a split decision, but it wasn't a whole lot that necessarily happened in the fight. They both were filling each other out a lot and not really committing too much, so it wasn't a whole lot to fill out. And I also feel like Jonathan Martinez has evolved a lot since that fight. Especially even since he debuted in UFC and got dogged by Andre Sukumtov. He um, evolved a lot since that fight, so. The him that fought Vergara is not the same fight. You can see a lot of the same things, but he definitely has sharpened up a lot and added a lot to his arsenal, a lot to his skill, and a lot more experience. So it's not like you fought that guy that is there today. Like you haven't fought that version of him or even close to that version of him. You fought like a uh, prototype to the man that he is today. So it's not really a whole lot to draw on. And when I look at Vergara, like he has some good, decent boxing, like some good, you know, maybe two or like maybe, yeah, one or two basic um, fundamental boxing, like a good little check hook. But the good thing is he could do um, good counter hooks with the left or right hand. The lead are backhand, so that's one good thing about him. I think that the most, like the best thing that's most effective from him is his kicks, like his best his kick to the body. Very sneaky with that, and has been able to land that like consistently on everybody. So that's one thing about him. We're going against um Bruno Correa. Correa is real good at with kicks. Yeah, he's real good with, with kicks, defending them, landing them. Been in there with better guys, and the better BJJ wrestling. I feel like about a lean in between them, but experience, height the same, length a little bit longer. And he's coming down to experience. I just, when you're fighting tough competition, it kind of like you blossom through it. But when you keep fighting um, mediocre competition, it kind of comes back to bite you. Like maybe it could help you in confidence. Sometimes you find guys, you know, been fighting better guys, but down and up and down and up. But you just been up because you've been fighting mediocre competition. And you're still getting those reps and you're still training with good guys. And you can have that confidence coming in. But it's not like both of them are riding streaks right now. So it's not that, it's not being a factor of confidence. Both of these guys are not the oldest guys. So. It's not a matter of a young guy versus an old guy. So I feel like I favor Bruno Correa in this one. I feel like he's more experienced, been there with better guys. Freshly been fighting good guys, whereas, um, what's his name? Vergara's been fighting part-timers and, and maintenance man and stuff. So it's not like he's been there with the best guys. So I'm going to take Bruno Correa in this one. I feel like he's going to be the edge of decision, experience, fighting, you know, sharpen your tools against better competition. He'll be better fit to, you know, Dig a little deeper to get that victory and do what needs to be done to get that victory. Where regardless, me a little bit shell shocked in a way. When it, the same stuff he did against mediocre competition is not really working against a better competition. But I expect him coming in and give a good effort, coming in to bang. But I expect um, Korea just to be a little bit, me a, a lot sharper. But that does little margins be the things that um, determine who wins the fight. So I feel like he'll be able to address the kicks of Vergara. Of, yeah, Vergara. I'm really Vergara got some decent hands at times, but eh, nothing really right home about. So I feel like. If he can address that kick, he can beat Vergara. And I think he will be able to address the kicks. Control the grappling. I don't think it'll be a whole lot of grappling, but I think he'll be able to control the fight, be more experienced, be more tested, and do what needs to be done in those given moments to get his hand raised. I do still see this as a tight fight. So in this fight, I have Bruno Correa via decision.